Good morning, everybody. I am Russ. The president is now Donald Trump. He was sworn in, did his deal. A lot of people went into rioting modes. Uh, Ignorance. He had the women's, the women's march. Uh, everybody, the femi- the feminist or whatever, did the march. And I, and I'm sitting here going, holy crap, man! All these servicemen and women fight daily. For you to do stupid bullshit like that. Do you can you not think about that? No, they don't. I mean, if if the photos that are being posted are really some of the signs that are out there and some of the outfits that they're wearing, it's so disgraceful, it's 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 embarrassing as a country if other com- countries are, are seeing that. It's oh, like <clears throat> But 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 I'm saying is you you are you are marching for you don't know what's going to happen. You just all of a sudden think, well, the world's screwed. When Obama was president, the same thing happened. Oh, oh he was, he was he's the worst president ever. Well, you know, in That's, some people's eyes. Yeah, Trump's the worst. Trump's cabinet that he has put together has the highest IQ of any cabinet yet. Now that doesn't mean they have street smarts totally or agree. any sense. But he put together a very, very smart team. And anybody who knows, knows that the president, he, he isn't a dictator here. No. no. He has some rights and he can stop bills and, right, and right. slow them down, but he doesn't rule the country. Yeah. I think we live in such a, we really do live in a stupid time with social media, even though we do have a lot of smart people that are tech savvy and stuff, we live with a we live in a stupid common sense world. As a best friend, right? Well, we consider ourselves brothers, right? Basically, we are. So, at what point does something become a secret, or should you be able to go to your family member? With anything, rather good or bad. Well, you've got to find that one. Me and you. I got something. Been killing me. Mm -hmm. Killing me. I am pretty much going to tell you. Right. Because. Until I'm almost dead, I probably won't tell you. I know. I know. And the deal is, I just want to get it off my chest because I'm mad. And I'm like, and this is where this will go, I think, for, for me and you. I'm, I'm, I'm mad, and I just want to say it. Whether you say I'm right or wrong, I don't care. But I just need to go, I am so sick of this woman, or I'm so sick of this job, or I'm so sick of this so-and-so, that I need somebody to, to vent to and frustrate to. That will say what's on their mind and not go, you know what, I felt the same way. I would do. That would go, you know, you're an idiot. Or, you know what I mean? Well, in every relationship, there's a power side, I believe. Yeah. And w- there's a big brother or a big sister. And usually the big brother or the big sister, or the dad to the son or the mom to the son, whatever. There's usually one power figure. And not in a bad way, but you are the big brother of this relationship. Correct. Because you're so damn old, really. And That's I wear why. baggy clothes. Yes. You're in the 80s. In the 80s. <clears throat> so, I think it's easier for you to come to me because you don't care what I think. Right. It's harder for me to go to you because I care what you think, even though I know you're the most non-judgmental person Correct. I know. Yeah. <clears throat> but at the end of the day, the moral of this story is, if I don't come to you with my problem or my gripe or my problem, you can't help me with it. Right. And you damn sure if something comes out can't defend me if that, you don't know. That's that's a that's a big thing. I it's it's hearing it from the horse's mouth and then you having then I'm able to to concern and don't, that doesn't mean you always have to stand up and go, "Hey, it don't matter what he did, I I got his back." Yeah. No matter what he did, I got his back, wrong or right. I'm still going to have your back. But I think a lot of people don't, like like you, it takes down, it takes down to the last, I'm going to take my last breath, so I'm going to tell you this. And, and it's a deal of, dang it, 
For you, it's, man, I don't want to listen to it. I don't want to hear it. That's it. Yeah. And for me, I want to say it, and he's going to give me my opinion, but I'm still so hard-headed. I really don't listen to what he says. I just hear him talking back to me. Well, folks, he does listen. <laughs> it just takes him two or three days yeah, for to sink in. That's the process. That's the process. And I am one of those guys that I know what I want to say, and and I'm going to say what i got to say. They call him, in the hood, they call him ride or die. Ride or die. Comment right now who that person is to you. That'll be you. Who is your ride or die dude or chick? What did we got to do a correction, correct? Yes. Shane and Kevin over at... It's C T C S I S I No it's, it's C I T We said C T I S and it's really C S I No that's a TV that's show. It's, uh, no it's C T T because the table's C T T I S. C Right? Oh anyway. They do a bunch of uh Yeah, you just have to look it up. You gotta look it up. Look up Shane Christensen <laughs> over there. Custom IT Solutions. God dang it. We should have not. We should have just said it like that instead of yeah. that T. We knew what it was, Shane. We just seeing if you're listening, we buddy. Just seeing if you're listening. Anyway, I appreciate all the ride or die people. Got that for Shane right there. Dang. He might be coming over before the show's over. Uh, not knock. <laughs> no, they're putting in some new cameras, oh, and we so, can zoom in on so, some stuff. So excited! Do you trust people? Go ahead, let's go. Hell on. no! Do you trust? Hell people? no! And you, the reason I say that, people, there's a lot of people here that watch our stuff that either work for somebody, own their own business, or whatever. And hell no! People, I don't. people that work, especially in the cash money hand hand to cash there's a lot of dishonest people there's a lot of dishonest people <clears throat> and you know what i don't know if they're so dishonest except it's so easy i totally agree you you, you lock a door to keep an honest man out that's all well you can't lock a door to a cash business nope you don't know temptation it, is, it is. is so it, it is it is <clears throat> so it's so easy to go, here's that Budweiser, put it in a tip jar. Oh. It it really is, and we've caught a few. I mean, we've caught a few, yeah. and, and you're, you're gonna happen, and I always, we I has always told <clears throat> Gary, we said this. this. This is my favorite. All the way back from Arizona, at the hot spot, yep. all the way to today, credit card receipt. Right. Does that say, is that tip, is that $3 or $8? <laughs> it looks like 8 to me. They've never won. Look, is that a 3 or an 8? looks like a 3 to me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They have never, ever said that. And the good thing is, every time that guy comes in, he tips $3. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, just, you just know it. <clears throat> but I, people are, I don't want to say dishonest, but they think they're getting one over on you. They think they're smarter than you. That's what I, that's what I think. Right. They just think, you know what? I just, they ain't never going to know. They ain't never going to that, know. And that's one reason we're using C-I-T-S. Woo! Men have the worst tendency, which is all of us, of, I feel good, I'm Everything's good. Everything's fine. I'm good. And now that Stephanie's been working at uh, Texas Urology in the I have learned I went and got my so did you went and got our PSAs checked guys I know you don't want to have to do this but you need to get your check and listen this is not the right way <laughs> this is not getting it when checked. both their hands when are on your shoulder on it's your not right Polk has tried that it three may feel times. okay to some of you but it's not Polk has tried that three times and I tell him he's not a doctor <laughs> but it is a big thing that guys don't like somebody sticking a finger up your butt whoa 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 now who said that's where I'm going 
a lot of people get embarrassed about that. But listen, man, they got to check the prostate. I'm going to tell you a story. I was 18 years old, going to Howard Payne University. Three o'clock in the morning, I had a pain in my gut that hurt so bad. Well, we didn't meet coke till later, so you're okay. Yes. <laughs> I, we got in the car. It was one of those deals. I was yelling at my buddy to slow down. We weren't even moving. That's how bad I was hurting. And I got there, and they went, it could be a number of things. It could even be your prostate. So let's check it. I'm like, <laughs> come on. I don't care how big your fingers are. If you put your hand in there, that's how bad it was hurting. And it turned out they thought it was a kidney stone at 18 that I had passed it already. And the, the, pain, the, was the pain was already after? Yeah. I come home. They did a dye test. I'm allergic to that. Right. Thought I was going to die. But long story short. Uh, a little bit of discomfort, if you don't like it or you're embarrassed about it, is Dude, don't, worth it. Don't get it. You shouldn't be. And that's what I want to talk about. Embrace it. Just take it. Because <laughs> <laughs> it is about, especially now, and I know somebody that's 25 watching this go, man, ain't nobody going to stick their finger in my butt. Well, it used to check your prostate at 40. Now yeah. they've moved it to 50. Yeah. You know, but... You need why, to get your, why not? Get That's your the blood. number one cancer in men, right? Yeah, is yeah. prostate cancer. Get your blood work done. You know, I know you're going to spend X amount of dollars on a new car, a new gun, a new game, a new girl, whatever. Spend it on getting your health, get your blood work done, get your uh, <whistles> prostate tickled. Well, that's a different deal. Okay. That's a different thing. But I know we're joking about it. But you got it. You got it. You got to do it, man. You just got to do it. There's, there's, you just, I'm sure for, I, I just know the man side, but I went to see Stephanie and them and my testosterone was low. low. Yeah. And I take very, very little. Like yeah. on the, on the scale of me and, and some other friends that, that take it. Right. Which I know a dozen. I'm on the very on the low T side, yeah. Uh, I take very little, right? But it changed my overall health, health, and energy level. <clears throat> so there's other things too: vitamin C, vitamin D, all these different things that they can check in blood work. And I, yeah, that that that's exactly right. So I know and we had the up. hookup, yes. so you know. We will check your blood, but usually we just got to stab you and just got to come into yes. a cup. We'll take it somewhere. And ladies, since Hoke is here and we are three professionals, we will do mammogram checks. <laughs> uh, on camera. To on make camera, sure we're not sure crossing you know, any lines. And we will just, just do it. I don't know what we're looking for, but we'll, we, won't, we don't mind helping out. Uh, but guys, we will, do not do testicle checks. We do not do testicle checks. We have a guy that will. So just, if you want your... 